So I think here's the basic idea. I think the important part is this bar. I attached a lot of things to that bar. So all the tentacles, or most of the tentacles are attached to it just to get some movement out of it. And then the main tentacle that holds the hat has an additional bar and a hinge right here and a pivot point. And then there's a connection between the crank and the bar. But I think I can explain it better if I build one. I prepared a cork and I cut out this section. And here is a popsicle stick. And I'm going to pin it temporarily to the center. So that would be my, my main bar. So I want this, this motion. And now I'm going to make the crank. So I'm going to try and push a piece of wire that is in line with the bar and that is relatively straight. First I'm going to punch it. Careful not to get my finger there. And then I'm going to grab the piece of wire and send it through. And now I'm going to do like the basic shape of my crank, which is like an S. One 90 degree bend. Then another one. And that would be my crank. So now what I want to do is translate this motion to the bar. So this rotation into a sort of up and down. Part of the freedom we need to allow for is that the shape that this is tracing is an arc. So it's roughly like that. And then if we look at this one, this one is tracing a sort of circle in that direction. So we need to allow for some freedom of motion, which kind of explains the sort of elaborate shape of this thing, that connection point. One way to build these connection points is to wrap the wire, like a softer wire, around a stronger one. And that should come out. Now we just need to connect to the bar. And so, because it's going from a sort of straight section into this hole, so the axis is sort of changing. So in order for that, to accommodate that sort of axis change, I'm going to add another bend. Just sort of to bring these two legs into the same plane. And then one of them is going to go into the, into the bar. So let's see if that idea works. So this leg goes into the bar. Hopefully I have the sort of freedom of motion that I'm looking for here. I could trim this little section so it's more clear. Now just to finish the crank, I'm going to trap this in there by adding another bend. So that effectively traps that part here and then I'm going to bend it again so I have a so I still have a crank that I can spin around. Oh, there was interference. Let's fix that. Okay. 
Okay, I ran out of wire here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna redo this section so I have more wire to make to make the crank here at the end. Okay, and then figure out the clearance here. I'm just gonna bend it again to have a, a little handle. Okay, the next step is there is a bar that goes here. I've got a piece of cardstock. I'm gonna fold it in half and then that's gonna be my bar right here. So I know I need something about that big. The hole right there. And I'm going to use this tag to retain it in place. Okay, so I got I have the up and down motion here, and then this bar. So now for the the arm would go between this spot and here. So I'm gonna use a long strip of paper or cardstock, and I want it to sort of bend in that direction. And what I did with the octopus is I kind of curved it along a little bit. So now. It's going to make more sense why I folded this one in half and that's because I want, I want to attach this bar to this piece of paper and I think the easiest way is to make a little fold here like that, that gives me a little flat, a flat section and then I can glue that to the piece of paper. Go glue I think perhaps this motion could be more dramatic if I compare it to the like it is important that this bar goes below this line Okay, so I'm gonna adjust this length, but I think also to make the motion more dramatic, I'm gonna move this pivot point closer to here. So let's take it apart. Okay, that's a little more dramatic. And then it seems like the way I made it Bend was that at the downstroke, this would be a little bit lower. So I'm going to lower this length. Okay, I'm going to move this one a little bit further here. I think that's that works. So there are I think the trick is to have these bar to be really long here and I'm using the paper to have this connection point. So when it's at the lowest point it kind of bends down and then at the highest point it kind of pushes it a little bit this way. Let's compare it to the to the octopus here. I guess this, that bar gets a little obscured. And finally, just to replicate these tentacles or to show you the method, what I did was I started with a flat piece of paper, folded the edges slightly at an angle. So 
uh, via a single tentacle and then I went back and made a bunch of cuts which allowed me to bend it kind of like these so I think these this arm when made this way also also flexes a, a little bit more. I hope that helps. <laughs>